Matt Morris. Welcome to the Unemployed Millionaire Show. Coming to you from Lakeway, Texas. Just uh, pulled in a few hours to go to the Lakeway Resort and Spa. Got a cool view of the lake here and a beautiful, beautiful place. If you, uh, if you haven't been here, it is uh, really, really nice. We've stayed here a couple times. I've got, um, we're in the adult section here. And uh, on the other side, they have a really cool kids uh, swim area. But uh, anyway, we're on... Uh, a bit of a anniversary party um, adventure. We've done three different resorts in uh, three days. I've been traveling like crazy, flying all over the world, and uh, didn't really feel like hopping on a plane, so felt like doing a road trip. So uh, just cruising around and uh, having fun, and uh, wanted to record a quick training here on a topic. It was actually a question that I got at a training that I did uh, last weekend in Fort Lauderdale, had uh, 1,200 people. And I uh, did a Q&A session, and a guy came up and he asked the question, how do, you how do I motivate the people on my team who are not motivated? And, um, you know, so the topic of today, it's how do you motivate the unmotivated? <laughs> and uh, here's my answer, you don't. Stop trying to motivate the unmotivated because, you know, what I believe, and I've offended a lot of people with this, is, you know, there's chickens and eagles, and if you really want to be a leader, go find the eagles, not the chickens. You know, I've tried over the years to, you know, convert the chickens to eagles and people get offended and they get upset with me saying, um, you know, you need to help the little people. And yes, you need to help the little people, but you need to help the little people who are motivated already. See, um, you know, I, I just don't find that it serves any of us very well if you're always trying to motivate people who are not gonna get motivated. Because even if you do motivate them, they're gonna be motivated for a very short window of time. You know, they'll get super fired up for a day or two, and then they're back to the regular life. What you wanna look for is you wanna look for the people that have the fire in their eye, that really wanna change their life. And the people who are willing to look at, you know, success as a marathon, not a sprint. See, I believe with all my heart, it is a marathon, not a sprint. So if you're the kind of person who can only get motivated for a week at a time, my friends, you, uh, <laughs> Uh, you're gonna have a very very hard time and um, here's the thing even if you could motivate the unmotivated you know you could do all kinds of therapy with people you could spend hours you know you could get them reading all kinds of books and you know long term maybe you can kind of change their mindset and you know that's something that we do with our training system for instance the company that I'm with we have um, you know training events that people can plug into and if they'll continue to plug in long term if they'll continue to read books you know they it can build them as a person but the reality is if you want to build a big business you're gonna build a big business by finding other people who are already motivated I was just talking uh, today actually over the last two days with a guy who's been the number one producer in a, a non-network marketing company but you know he is so refreshing to talk to him because he's motivated he's already done big things and he wants to do big things where he's got residual income and you know that excites me that's the kind of person that I'm gonna pour all of my energy into I'm gonna make him a priority because if I take someone who's already motivated and willing to you know learn the skills that it takes within our profession to become successful I know beyond a shadow of a doubt I can make him a rock star um, it's not me making him a rock star it's him making him a rock star it's just me supporting him and so here's the lesson if you want to motivate the unmotivated <laughs> Just don't even go down that road. Just go find people who are already motivated. And listen, they are out there. There are people right now praying for an opportunity to come along. You just have to pick up your phone and you got to call them or you got to put out your hand and meet them. And just trust me, believe me, they are definitely there. So hopefully this added some value. If you feel I can help some others, feel free to share this around. Love to hear your comments below. If you haven't subscribed to my newsletter over at mattmorris.com, hop over there, put your name and email address, and I've got a special training that I've recorded for you there. So as always, friends, go make life an adventure.